A database is a large collection of tables that can hold millions and millions of rows of data. Each table can be thought of an Excel spreadsheet with many columns and rows. For example, on this website here, we have a customers table, orders table, and shippings table. And each table has column headers such as first name, last name, age. On the left hand side of the screen, we have the data types of each column. So for example, customer ID is an integer, which is a number. First name and last name is var car 100, which is basically a string of letters with a maximum length of 100. We also have a primary key in each table, which uniquely identifies each record. In the customer's table, it's the customer ID. So these are all unique. You can have the same first name or same last name, for example, John, but the customer ID is what is unique. And then we can also have a foreign key, which in the orders table is the customer ID column. This is linked to the customer ID in the customers table. They don't have to have the same name, but they do in this uh, example. So this is how the orders and customers are related. And then we can use SQL, which stands for Structured Query Language, to retrieve data from the tables. So we can start out the query by writing select, and then we can put the names of the columns we want to select. I'm just going to put star, which means select all of them. And the second clause is from, and we're going to specify which table to select from. I'm going to put customers, then run SQL. What it returned down here is this entire customers table. This demo only has five columns and five rows, which is very small compared to a regular table size. But we can filter data with the where clause. For example, we can put where age is less than 26. If we run this, we will get three rows of data, age 22, 22, and 25. We can also do equality. For example, country equal to USA. Run this, and we'll get only two rows of data. We can also use wildcard operations. For example, if we did last name like, this means we don't want exactly, but like a certain pattern. For example, R percent. What this does is it will get all last names that start with R. Percent means any number of characters after R. If we put the percent at the beginning, it would be end in R. And if we did percent on the beginning and the end, it would be contains R. And this would again return 2 because uh, Do, Luna, and Do don't contain an R. Then we can also modify the select statement to spec specify certain column names. So for example, we only want first name, last name, and age. Run this. And then we only get those specified columns. We can also use order by. And then we can do, for example, age. And this will order by age. By default, it will do ascending. 
so you didn't see any difference down here. You'll go smallest to biggest. You could also do ascending like that, but default is ascending. Or you could use descending like that. And then 25, the highest value will be first, and then go lower. Then another important um, operation is the join. So if we put this back to select all and then join, we want to join customers and the orders table. So when we do this, we want to put customers C and orders O, just a letter to differentiate the two. And then we want to put on C dot so we're talking about the customers table. Customer ID equal to O dot customer ID. If we run this, we will get a combination of both tables here. And we won't get five, customer ID five, because there wasn't an order associated to it. We're just doing a inner join, which only returns rows that have a matching value in the orders table. If we wanted to, we could do a left outer join, which would return the fifth value, and then just blank null values in the orders part. I'm just going to keep it as join for now. Simple inner join. And then we can also do a second join on the shippings table S on C dot customer ID equals S dot customer then run this and we get the shipping ID and status associated with each customer. And then we'd probably want to clean this up a bit. We only want first name, last name, age, country, item, amount, status, like that, just to get the important information, so it's not the multiple IDs in each one. And this way, we're not storing all the information in one table. We can separate it into different ones and then create relationships between them. Uh, to make the database easier to manage.